Hi everyone, I'm James Milan. As you may know, at ACMI we like to keep abreast of interesting things happening in and around Arlington, and that brings us today to the Drikung Center, which is uh, located at 15 Bartlett Ave, right in Arlington Center. And um, it is the site of a very special happening over the last week and a half or so. Um, and I'm here speaking to Lama Konchuk Sonam. That's right. Thanks for inviting us in, Lama. Thank you, James. First of all, for people who may or may not know that the Jikung Center is right here, um, I, I think I, I certainly have noticed it many a time, uh, colorful decorations outside all yes, the time. Yes. Uh, tell us how long you've been here. Uh, we came here at Arlington since 2007, and up until now continue. Okay, that's great. And tell us a little bit about what we are seeing here today. Today, you see front there, we're making uh, sand mandala. So sand mandala, maybe you know many places. So today, the particular uh, sand mandala is we use this, uh, the deity or the uh, goddesses, uh, her name is Pasudara in Tibetan called Hamo Nordunma. So she's holding her left in the vase or jewel for wishing fulfilled jewel. Her right hand holding the rice. So this means for giving uh, to the normal poor, to helping to many beings uh, for wealth. So now you can see later in the man, uh, mandala and her represent the seed later in the center of the mandala. Then it surrounded the, her sort of the wealth family, we call a Zambala family. So this way I think we will uh, interesting to build here, very happy to share all over the world, especially in the Arlington. So I'm very excited to share and you come here, uh, we can talk about more things. If, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, is the is the construction of this San Mandala a, a is this the first time that this has happened since the Drikung Center has been here in Arlington? Or no, this is a uh, second time. Uh, I think uh, years ago uh, we built a small San Mandala and keep in our center. Almost we keep in years. People come and practice, but this time we will uh, build uh, last Wednesday. And tomorrow, uh, to finish complete, then we bring to the in the shrine room. Uh, two days we will consecrate or uh, practice sadhana, recitation, many things. Uh, also, we have some the emulant put there in blessing to uh, benefit many beings. Then after that, in June fourth, and a conclusion. Then we soup the all mandala and then carrying the sand in the vase to the mystic river, uh, many beings in the ocean. Then the uh, ocean beings uh, liberate the uh, sufferings. Then oceans uh, steam go to the space or sky. Then coming back to ring to healing in the earth that helps the uh, people and as well as the environment. Uh, so those kind of we have to plan right now. Yeah, I mean, that's fascinating. I think people might be um, interested and especially in this culture, puzzled by the idea that something that clearly takes so much time and concentration and devotion right. and energy yes. um, would then be the, the end result will be that you will dismantle it, that you will. So yes. tell us about the significance of, the, of yes. that. When we built, of course, we follow the base of the text or writing by our great masters. Uh, we uh, take as much as they try to best follow the um, text, no mistake, uh, every single small details. Then after concrete, uh, then as a sand is not longer uh, ordinary sand because we're inviting the goddesses transformed to the sand. 
then each atom of sand is becoming the goddesses. So then we are more rejoicing than disappointed to save, we can share. Uh, and in the uh, conclusion time or dissolution time, anybody come in the morning, we can give the small bag of the sand. Also, you carrying everyone, and the rest of we share to the uh, river, carrying to the uh, the ocean. Mm -hmm. So this idea is the living beings more wealthy, more harmony, healthy. Likewise, the outer. Uh, the universe or the world, more the environment is more back to normal. And I noticed that there are three people who are working on yes. constructing the mandala yeah. at yeah. the moment. Is that, are, are they the same people who have been here from the beginning right through? Uh, beginning, you know, we have the three. Uh, one of the uh, name Venerable Kimbo Chumbel. Uh, he came from Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. He centered uh, there. The non venerable uh, Zuma Gonjo. Uh, she came from the Ohio. Uh, and then my friend, uh, venerable Kishi Ngawang, uh, his next town in Medford. He just came before you, maybe five, ten minutes ago, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I think people might be curious just to know what is, if you can give us a, a sense of what is on your minds, because you are doing this for hours uh -huh. at a time, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we all understand, I think, a little bit about whatever our version of meditation is, and so there's probably some meditative benefit or meditative place that you are. But what 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 are what's happening in your mind as you as you do this? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, these are very very important and very serious uh, Buddhism practice, Vajrayana practice, actually, uh, to the West. More like, uh, people think more like a Tibetan arts, arts show, right? But uh, the more seriously, it's uh, when monastery, when uh, giving Vajrayana teaching, then giving empowerment, then build sand mandala. And then this mandala has a very significant to introduce the Vajrayana practice. For example, the ordinary view that we think we are just ordinary people, right? So that kind of ordinary view to change, mm -hmm. uh, to Vajrayana practice, we say Buddha nature, to introduce Buddha nature through the mandala. So that is a really serious practice. Uh, so of course, we, when we're beginning their spiritual or uh, ritual opening ceremony, mm -hmm. and during the working also as much as can on focus on visualization, a recitation, mantras, and uh, sending the prayer, you, you know, uh, as much as focus on the mandala. Mm -hmm. The important is motivation is very important to benefit for sentient beings, benefit for, for the world peace, you know, especially in this case, this is a mandala called wealth or abundance. The, the goddess. So this is a represent her mandala. So after we completed the build, then at least one or two days, uh, we say a consecration. Practice, visualize this mandala as divine palace. And, and that, that all those wisdom beings dissolve, absorb into mandala. Then after that, then mandala will be the sands, every sands will be blessed, conscript. Then it has beneficial and power. Uh, to That's when to it moves way beyond this room and uh -huh. this temple yeah. into, into yeah. The, the wider world. Yeah, this temple, this location, neighborhood, country. Then the idea that traditionally we put this on to the river. So idea is uh, we build here, this is just seven days, and 
conscript, the more benefit benefit under the water there another uh, Buddhist philosophy, another world like like animal realms or hell beings under the water. So this is the idea, the liberation for them, pray for them. And then also the world peace. The, wherever water goes, sand, sand will be go there, mandala will go there and blessed. And where the compassion is not arise, we pray arise, compassion. Where the already arise, we pray develop. And finally, you know, world peace. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> every whole world is controlled by compassion then. Uh, you know, less ego, and then maybe whole human being maybe same level, right? That kind of a pray, you know, motivation is important. Yeah. Because we put in here, we have put different signs here, same different colors. Do you see? Mm -hmm. you know, this is like yellow. What is that? Then we put the inside here. Here, do you see? There's some. How is the bombos? This one touch the bombos. Then you know sand come out. Do you see he's making like that? You know, we, if you touch here, it doesn't come out. But here they move, the sand come out. And just a little bit comes out at a time. Yeah, it's, yeah. Or because do you have to learn how to do it just right to make sure the right. Yeah, this is a little bit thing. You know, some people just have to like put like hand like this. Some people like you know they just like this very easily. They do. I'm not very good. You know, Kimbo's very good. No, they, you know, they, do you see, she doesn't touch the hand like that, do you see, like this. Somebody, not put, you know, like me, I have to put my hand, my hand is not very stable. So I'm struck by, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that viewers might be uh, struck by the fact that you have yes. something in your hand yes. that they may or may not understand the significance yes. of. So can you tell us? Yes, this is what we call prayer will. The prayer will brings your mind also concentrated. Because even though my mind is going somewhere, but when touching the prayer will, and some in the, my wisdom, love, compassion is re repeated many times, is needed. And my hand touching the, my phone, is my mind is different direction, right? So this way the object, the holding my, uh, the prayer will or the mala, the connection directly spiritual and the positive thoughts. We're curious, how did you end up in Arlington? Arlington. Yes, I was uh, four years in Somerville and then searching. Uh, last night I said, a karmic wind take me here to Arlington. So then I stay here, I'm very comfortable and friendly. Uh, last 10 years, very friendly, everything. So this is where we are here. Well, let's hope a karmic wind doesn't take Blue you somewhere away, else. Stay here. Yeah, That's hope, right. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> what What do you see as the the place of of the Dikung Center and of of a Buddhist temple here in Arlington? I think you know, uh, we can Arlington uh, we fundraising enough to money, and then we can help many many different way to help the uh, our community, you know. Uh, through the Buddhist wisdom uh, teachings and meditation. People who there are some uh, mentally need help. Uh, and also people who the health also through the medicine healings. And a lot of people who uh, many ways to through the uh, Buddhist teaching. Buddhist wisdom is very profound. So the bigger space, we get more the benefit. When people come to here, I say, just look at the Buddha's face and something, you get something, you know. You not need any reciting. When you look, the Buddha's face means you not become Buddhism, but just just, just try, you know, mm -hmm. try something. And sometimes some people there, uh, I cannot go this place and this place. I said, you know, our small temple is like 7-Eleven. <laughs> you know, that's what I always said. And if you have time, it will always open. Uh, this is, if the more bigger, more benefit, the no question. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and clearly you've cited that there's psychic, there's spiritual, there are, there yes. are physical health yes. benefits. We can do many things. Mm -hmm. But usually, then I'll see, even though maybe here, 
10, 15 people very crowd. And also we have uh, some time to time gatherings, many uh, Buddha's birthdays, Buddha enlightened days, New Year days, a lot of people coming to here. I wish it would be three times bigger than this room. We serve people die, uh, we serve people wedding, we do many things. So hopefully uh, Arlington can deserve to Buddha stay here and then I can serve to as long as my life. I hope so as well. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Yes, absolutely.